it's early Saturday morning, very early, maybe half past five. And I like a frag pattern on everything, even my coffee cups. Waiting for the water to boil. Waiting for the water to boil. G'day world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. It's a nice cool morning here in South Africa. It is 9.45. Okay, um, so everybody is running around and doing things but in a leisurely manner because it's Saturday. Okay, and I thought I should show you this knife. I've been alluding to this thing for quite a while. We have this nice box. Look at this nice embossed lettering over here. Big knives. Nice box. It looks all kinds of shiny and things. What does this thing say? Because life doesn't come pre-sliced. Okay. Big knives is 100% American. Family owned headquarters in whatever California, USA. Bigknives.com And then over there, this is the model number BG038. Let's see what we get in the box. Okay, we get this beautiful pouch that says Big Knives. And it's nicely embroidered on here. Very cool. Nice nylon pouch. We open it. And we get a nice microfiber cloth with Big Knives on it. We get... What's this? Is this a sticker? Yes, we get a little big sticker. And we get this. Congratulations on your big knife. Nice paper. Okay, and then we see all kinds of wonderful big knife things over here. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. There's a hawkbill looking one. I like that. There we have that one. I cannot remember what it's called. Over there we have something else. We have this wonderful thing. We have this dagger. Limited lifetime warranty. All the information you need. Nice fluffy thing. Look at it. It's like... I wanted to say Puma skin, but they are not that fairy. Anyway, let's put that over there. Very nice. This is something different. It's a beautiful slip joint knife. Okay, now I've had this thing for a little while, but I tried not to play with it too much because I wanted to share it with you. Beautiful stainless steel. Nice ringed bolster. We have a beautiful stainless steel inlay. This stuff is G10. Beautiful polish G10. We have nice pins, also stainless. Slight hairline gapping, but that's pretty good. Nice all around. No lanyards and things. We do have a nail nick over here. So that's quite cool. Let's just raise this thing a bit. Ah, if I can. Okay. No, and it's going down on its own. Anyway, um, maybe a five on the pull, maybe a four. It's not too harsh. Yes, all right, snap, off stop, nice snap, open. And then look at this blade shape. This one is called the uh, BG038 Recurve Large. Okay, I got mine from Swartbart EDC and Gear. So, see where you can find yours. Let's get a piece of paper. See if it will actually cut paper. Oh, like butter. Okay, so that's nice and cool and sharp. This thing looks awesome. What does it say over there? Big knives with its little logo. Oh, yes, it's gold, so I'm fogging up everything. There we see something which I cannot focus on now. Can you see that? What's that say? It is, uh, where does it say that? JVO Design Steelcraft Series Slip Joint. 
Okay, so that's the full name for this thing. And it comes in 14C28N blade steel. So that's quite nice for a slip joint. So this is a nice modern traditional slip joint. Okay, four finger grip. Yes, if we go up to the flat over there, if we go down, the last finger is going to hang off a bit, but that's not a problem. Like I said, we can with confidence move up. So if you want to press through things, you can. Yeah. Backspring is fine, no mushiness over there, but you can still close it one-handed, which is nice. Can we open it one-handed? No, we cannot. Okay, so we do need a two-handed opening. Um, I have seen other reviews on this one, well, one other review on not this exact one, but one like this, and they could do it one-handed, so I don't think the pulls on these things are meant to be super strong. So, centering on this thing... Excuse my shakiness. Um, centering of this thing is pretty much perfect. Well, it is perfect from where I'm sitting. No gunk inside of it. This is a wonderful little knife. Okay, let's do some specs on this thing. I think they said it's a 2.8 inch blade, but let's just make sure. Yeah, that could be 2.8 inches. And overall, this thing is 7 on the dot. In centimeters, that is seven and a half centimeter blade length. Overall, 17 and a half centimeters. I did say seven and a half for that blade. I hope so. And then let's check stock thickness on this guy 2.7 millimeters. That is quite nice. And then, oh, let's do weight because my scales are sharp. Okay, but now it's packed under things. Okay, there we go. Nice scales. And this thing is 119 grams. And then in ounces, 4.2 ounces, which is not too bad. 4.2 ounces on a slip joint is perfect. Throw that thing to the side. So there we go. A nice modern traditional slip joint. I quite like this thing and I think I'm going to be playing with this today and it will live in my pocket as a pocket dropper for today. All of you, I don't think I'm going to add stuff to this video, so stay safe, happy and have a good one. Goodbye.